Faculty of the Walla Walla Community College Health Sciences has introduced best practices because learners of the current generation must be engaged. So when a classroom suddenly becomes engaging and interactive, your instructional time becomes much more effective. In the following scenes, you will become aware of how faculty arrive at excellence in their classroom practices. SimMan is so great for the students because it gives them the opportunity uh, to practice their skills and concepts that they learn in theory and integrate it into a safe environment. I have high-pitched, tinkling vowel sounds. Oh no, what's happening? Mom! Excuse me, sir. Yep. What? What's happening? I hit the call light. One, call two, the code blue. Oh, no. Just let her know that you're there. I'm right here, Mom. Using the Sim Man as a best practice helps the students take what they're learning in theory and in the lab into the real world with confidence. Here's what I like about clickers, is it allows you to find out if students have grasped concepts that you just taught. For example, if you've just taught a concept, you present a question up on the screen, students can participate. What this does is it increases student engagement. It allows students who otherwise would never participate in class discussion or ever raise their hand to participate in answering the questions. What we found is that students love clickers because they look forward to those questions so they can find out, did they grasp the questions, they get to participate, they get to throw in their answer with everybody else. What we find with this is that we're able to clarify concepts that may have been muddy or unclear for students and we find that out by how they answered on the clicker slide. So, if you've presented this concept and now that you find out that half of your students didn't answer the question correctly, you're able to go back and clarify that and reinforce and expand that to make sure that the students understand. It also gives the students the opportunity again to have their voice heard about what their understanding is. Um, one of the best practices that we use in the medical assisting program is utilizing uh, feature called Collaborate, which allows uh, an instructor who is not on site to have real-time interaction with students via the computer. And so we have a Yakima um, staff member who is downstairs visiting with students on a twice a week basis and able to answer their questions and lecture as if she were in the classroom with them. It um, allows for any confusion to be clarified real time instead of the, the lag time that exists with an, a totally online program where they send an email to the instructor and then wait for a response. You can get your grades right away. If you, when we're taking like a proctored exam, you can find out right away like what you, your grade is. They see the teacher um, and they see what she has on her computer desktop and they hear her voice. So she is lecturing and um, they can hear her, they can see her, and then they can, they, they do not interact verbally, they type questions in to the computer, which she then reads and answers the questions aloud so that everybody has the benefit of hearing the answer. My name is Brenda Anderson. I am one of the first year nursing faculty at Community College here in Walla Walla. I taught the OB content this quarter and um, also designed the simulation for Noel, who is our birthing mannequin, so the students could have uh, practice with a normal labor and delivery. When we use simulation like we have done with Noel, it increases engagement, plus the students get to apply the concepts that they've learned in theory to actual practice. Studies that are out now, plus our faculty, also firmly believe that lecture is not the best way for most students to learn. Most of the students get right in there and, and jump in and interact, which is really nice. If the students are able to retain this information and put it to use in the real practice setting, I think it gives them a huge jump if they choose to work in OB as nurses. The best practices in the Spanish Medical Interpreter Program were created out of commitment to improving equal access to individuals in the community and reducing health disparities amongst the population. 
With that comes the responsibility for students to understand what technologies are necessary to run an interpreting business. In the Spanish Medical Interpreter Program, the students are taught to interpret, use technology, but in addition, they're taught business strategies. So I decided to take this class because there are more opportunities of work and better uh, vocabulary. Efficient use of all resources leads to good patient outcomes. It's a win-win situation.